big fish. Fish, 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 fish. Okay, under, down, down, down low, down low, down low, down low. Down. Oh my God. Nice oh. fish. Oh. 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 That's a good one. Yeah. Let him run, let him run. That's a bigger fish than we think. Lift, 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 lift. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, there's one, there's one, big one. Casey, that's you, buddy. Here, here, hold oh, this. Wow. Hold this. Oh, oh, oh my oh. God, Jesus. Right, there's a 30. That's a big, giant bright. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Addictive Life. We are down here in Astoria, Oregon, and we are about to participate in what is hopefully gonna be one of the best king bites of the year. We've got great tide, the tide's are just about to shift right now, and we're gonna go out there and slam some Chinook salmon. Hopefully we can stay away from the toolies and put some nice brights in the box for these people. So thanks for joining in, you guys. Be sure, as always, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're not gonna say that enough. We appreciate all you guys subscribing, sharing this out, sharing this with your friends and family. This Addicted Life thing is growing crazy, and we appreciate all the support from you guys. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and also, let's, uh, let's start taking some bets on how many fish you think we're gonna catch today. Is it gonna be one? Is it gonna be 20? Is it gonna be none? Am I gonna strike out? You never know down here. It's a big river, it's a big fishery, so be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bait out, flash out, wait out. We're springer fishing right now. Bottom tap, maybe a half crank up. Don't drag for more than a couple seconds. Janet, I can give you a hand. I know you know the color. I know, you, I know you know the deal. She last time I took her 360 fishing, she freaking stroked them all out in the ocean. She stroked them all, so she caught all the fish for the boat. Be careful about that. Do not go past um, 50 on your line counters, guys. Go ahead. Start to deploy. They definitely got one on. Get them in. All right, guys. So we got a little later start this morning. I zipped past the crowd and. There wasn't any fish on, so I'm like, well, last thing you're gonna do is go join 500 boats not catching fish. We sneak out here, and these guys are just about to land when we haven't got our lines in yet. So we're gonna lower them down the bottom. We got a little ebb tide coming out today. It's August, ooh, what is today, 7th? Today's the 7th, Bruce? Yeah, today is 7th. It's August 7th, so. Got one on right there. Let's see if we can make it happen. Take your time getting out, nice and slow. Oh. You tangle a flasher, it's 100% your fault. I got fish on the bottom. I got fish on the bottom. Fish, 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 fish Janet, you got one Pick it up, Janet. About three minutes into the troll. There you go. go. There you Shrill go. Up. Lift and pull. Reel them up. Yeah, yeah, let's clear rod, guys, just because. Oh my God. You got him, Janet. Yeah. Real fast, Janet, real fast. Fast, fast, fast. <laughs> Oh, it's a little oh. guy. Yeah. That's right. We're oh, we need to practice fish. We'll see. That's okay. Yep. He's a will. He's good practice. Good practice yeah. fish. Looks like it might be a little. We're gonna throw this one back. We ain't killing this one that early in the day. So. Yeah, hold right up there. Okay. I got him. Oh. Watch the lead. Drop the lead down that way. Oh, he's off. Perfect. Right. Get back on the troll. All right. Good work. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Be careful. That was the decoy. That's a good warm up. That's a great warm up fish. Perfect. All right, made our first little pass. Definitely fish being caught, like probably seen a half dozen or so. A lot of boats, of course, but uh, I think we're going to run up just so we're positioned a little bit for when those fish start washing into the channel. So we're going to zip up river. Fish, 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 fish,
He's good. He's just standing there and shaking his head. Take it on. He keeps on. Come on, Lindsay. Oh! I know it's a good fish. Yeah, we're done. Reel on it. 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 Reel on Oh, he's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Okay, under, down, down, down low, down low, down low, down low. Down low. Jerry, he's over here. He's over here. Look at him go. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's the one we want. Oh, he's full of it too. Oh, I haven't seen a Chinook come out of the water like that in a long time. How far? 50. Oh, he's still hot. Come on, come on. Go Bruce, go Bruce. 18. Coming quick, coming quick. Might be rusty though, so be ready. Yeah, there's usually one last. I'm trying not to down put down my down thumb down. on it. Close, steady lift. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, my God. Nice fish. Oh, oh, good one. That's a good one. Nice, nice net, Yeah, that's a big one. That's a fish. Kill that one. That's yeah. That's a no brainer. Nice job, Brucey. You got what you came for, buddy. I turned it in. That's a that's a no-brainer, Brian, right there. Kill him good. Oh, like that. That's called the Mike Tyson. Let's get these rods dumped in, and then we can play at the fish. Uh -huh. I got him right here. Just just let him lay. That's a fish, Bruce. <sighs> Sorry, guys. There's a lot of people that like to catch a fish and do all the little pictures and pull over to the side, but you know what? He's probably got a buddy with him, so. Dump the rods back in the water before you get to see that amazing fish. Ooh, that's such a good one. That's a good nair. Oh, hang on, everybody, just a little rocket. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish right there. Fish right there. He's got it. That's why he put the rods back in the water. Keep on, keep it tight. You don't want to take it away. That might be a little nicer fish. I think he might be playing. If he goes under the boat, you put the rod in the water. Okay? He's off. Oh, he's off. All right. Got a cool one. Get that lead secured, Don. We'll drop back in and get another one. Okay. Holy smokes, yeah. That's why I don't understand these guys that catch a fish and they go and freaking play with it for 30 minutes before they can fish it again. But, could have got that one. Next one, we'll get another one. This is what we came for, yeah. Nice, nice upriver bright. Upriver bright, yeah. What a beauty. Thanks, nice, Cameron. That's a good one. Good enough. Throw him in the box, kill him. Not going that fast, going three two, it's like it's dialed right now. It should be someone's gonna spike one here in a second. There's a lot of we're marking a lot of fish on the screen here. We're just getting kind of rock and rolled. Why won't they bite? Right here. Oh my god. Just just freaking just right to Oh my dude. I might lose, I gotta turn that miter off. There's a lot of fish down there. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's fish. Where, where, where? Oh, yeah, yeah, that mouth. Wait, get on it, get on it. Oh, that one, that one. Stink pot. Get it for me. Drop it down, drop down, 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 down. Rods in, guys. Come back, come back to you, come back to here, come back to here. I think it's a Thule. Let's take a look at him. Is that a Lewis Riverbend? Could be. Let's. Oh, it's clipped. Let's see. It's got pretty big spots. Let's take a look at him. I just checked. He's like he's he's a med he's a medium. All right. So this is just a little Thule guy. You know, we only need like three fish for the clients today. So we I think we're gonna hedge our bets and get a bigger one uh, for sure. So we're just making sure he's recovered. So as you can see, he's got the big spots. Good little guy. We're gonna let him go. Oh yeah, oh, he took right off. Champ. Sweet. Nice job, man. So it's still early in the day, it's our third pass. And uh, just a little squirter tule. You know, it was legal size, they gotta be 24 inches to keep. But those are the fish that probably might not cut the quality that we're kind of looking for in this fishery right now. Um, so we're gonna let them, let them swim another day and hopefully that doesn't burn us in the end. But he was still real nice and chrome, but definitely had the big leopard spots. Short, stubby little football had the Thule smell, which you guys don't have smell of vision, so you can't really uh, smell him, but you get the idea. So I think we're gonna go for like the one we caught, like that Bruce caught, right? <laughs> right. Oh boy. Get those. Let's get those big ones, huh?
I'm going to go 50, then I'll go 60. Just for now. Alright guys, so we obviously have some fish up there, but the tide's pushing those fish down there, so we're going to chase them a little bit. Give a little test here. I haven't seen too much on. The only other fish I saw on was kind of out in the deep water on the way back. And these fish love to run in a little pack, so we're gonna give this a shot. I like this deeper water sometimes on these depth tides. So. Take your time, get down there, guys. I'm, I'm kind of dogging real slow. Oh my gosh, not a fish. Who is it? Or not a bottom? I don't know. It's you, unless somebody gets there. Janet, Janet, Janet come, come here. Down. This is a perfect one. Full oh, and real, Janet. Full oh, and real. That's a bigger fish than we think. Come on in there. If he dives under the boat, get ready to drop the tip down because you're kind of high. Keep going. Reel on him. Reel on him. I still see him. Lift, 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 lift. If he can't, lift, oh, lift. It's a nice fish. We want him. Lift, oh, lift, lift. lift. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, drop the tip down. Drop the tip down. That, that one's going home. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. There it is. Nice job. Hey, I think that rod's tapping bottom. Oh, like, okay, tapping bottom with that rod. He has a nice fish. Well, That's a view. How do you bring that one? Oh, 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 it's a rogue. Oh, yeah, it's a rogue. It's a rogue. That's like the prime, prime, oh, prime really? one. The left, the left ventral's been clipped. That means guaranteed. That means, yeah, that means bonked us. Smacking, smacking good. Yep. You won't be saying that when he's coated in butter and oil and cooking in your oven. Or barbecue, or. All right, guys, so what Janet got here is a rogue fish. You can see how it's missing that. That's actually been cut by the hatchery. Hatchery fish, these are called rogue stocks, and these fish have a really nice cut to them. You can see when you look in there, about where my thumb's at, I can see where it's really orange. This fish is gonna cut wonderfully. It's one of the premium fish down here, so, give me a kiss. <laughs> nice job. Let's put them in the box. Rogi. Jeez, that is a big fish. Keep that fish cold. It's only like 70 degree water. There's a pile. Let them ride, let them ride through here because there's, there's something and a lot of something. It's probably a lot of jellyfish. There's no way that can't all be fish. We would be just getting murdered right now. Like straight up murdered. Look at these. Casey, come here. I don't, well, maybe not. Like look, so look at this. Uh, that's kind of weird. Not check that one, check this out. Though. Check this out. Though, just a second ago. To me, those are fish. Yeah, I see that stuff all all day long and don't I get bit. I see it in the currents. You know what I mean? But not like right now. I don't know. All right, coho season coming up, and I got to give a little shout out to my boy JT. He's going to be up with the flashes that we're using this year that seem to be being pretty successful with, and of course. It's like a kid in a candy store. Got my spinners going. I saw one of my favorites from last year. Oh, tell me a coho's not gonna eat that, so. This is what I gotta do tonight, start putting spinners together, getting ready for coho season. Thank you, JT. Short bus flashers, baby. Hey, there's fish. Nope, nope. Strip to him. Strip to you. Bummer, Ducci. Walked it. Walked it. Walked it. Janet, why'd you miss that one? God, Come Janet, on. way to screw that one up. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, there he is. Done, done. Here. Done. Woo. Well, we missed one, and then Nick popped one behind me, but there's obviously some fish here, so. Another bright. That's a bright, yeah. Go to the top of me. <laughs> That's a fish. Nice job. That's a better one. Nice. There's a pretty one. Just go with it for a minute. At least get the rods down. Because, I mean, shoot, we might just be touching them. We just had 
two and freaking 50 feet. Yeah, that's the one you're looking for, Don. That's a nice fish there. Nice crawl. That's a, that's a good one. Good call. Good call. Yeah. There you go. You've been rewarded now, bud. <laughs> oh, I connected with that one. <laughs> Just... Here is a pretty one. That's a beauty. Super bright. Just ate it. Get a little look see. Oh yeah. Look at this. Give that little gill look. Like right there, tip my finger. Look how red that is. It's gonna cut. This one's gonna cut beautifully. Oh, there's one, there's one big one. Casey, that's you, buddy. Here, here, hold oh, this, hold wow, this, hold this. Good hold fish. Janet, let me see that rod. Janet, let me see the rod. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let go, let go, let go. Go reel the other rods in, quick. That's a big fish. That's a good one here. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Casey, that's a good, good one. Don't break them off. Yes. <laughs> right here, right here. What is it? Damn, he's just smoking the boat. I had it all the way to the beads. I had it all the way to the beads, though. Yeah, I here. smell Thule. Think of Thule? You see I it? I smell it. I smell it. Yeah. Oh my oh. god, Jesus. Right. <laughs> There's a 30. Yeah. That's a big, giant bright. Oh my god. Oh my god. What were you saying, Casey? <laughs> it must have been Thule? it must have been next Thule that you just landed. <laughs> I'm gonna kick the shit out of this bit. We want this one, buddy. Easy. Oh, jeez. He's big. He's bigger than yours, Bruce. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he, is. he is way bigger than yours. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to hear. Oh, boy. What would, I, what would happen if I knocked this fish off right now? I wouldn't cry. Just beat the hell out of me? No. <laughs> Throw you overboard. No. The rest, the rest of us would though. I'd say I'd laugh and say, let's get an oh my god. Oh no. Oh, there goes another 35. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> that one we wanted that one. Well, we're just gonna have to get another one. <laughs> Dude! You didn't, you didn't keep your tip up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a big fish. Well. You win some, you lose some, right? The big one's gonna win. Well, we already got our client's fish, right, Casey? So. We already got our client's I fish. We wanted to keep so. fishing. Casey, how do you feel about that now, bud? That one stung a little bit. It was a really nice fish. Probably 25, 26, it was 8 every bit of 40. Every bit of 40. But those ones hurt when you lose them. But it happens, so we gotta get another one now. So, update, guys. You know, we... I really needed to get three fish. We have live feed tonight, so for those of you guys that don't know, on Wednesday nights we try to do at least some kind of live feed, whether we do it in studio or fishing on our YouTube or Facebook channel, Addicted Fishing. But, so we, I don't necessarily want to tag out, but the three guys that we needed to catch fish for caught three real nice brights. So we're gonna see if we can maybe find one for Casey, doing a little exploratory fishing, just so we can put stuff like this in your back pocket for days that, um, for days that you are needing to find fish. As you can see, there's really nobody else around right here, so it's always worth a check. Um, bike kind of slowed down over there. We wouldn't even be doing this in case he would have landed that big one, but that didn't happen, so. <laughs> I just got the look. So yeah, so let us know what you guys are thinking about this episode so far. Comment below if you guys have fished the old buoy 10 in this lower river estuary out of Astoria. We'd like to know if this is something that uh, you guys would be interested to. You can always contact me at Gone Catching Guide Service. And by the time this comes out, it might be getting a little close to the over for this season. But for those that don't know, we, uh, myself and all our guide buddies, we all target these salmon almost all the way till Thanksgiving. So reach out, give us a line if you guys want to go on a guided trip too. Thanks for watching. Damn it. Oh, there he was, boys and girls. Yeah, something bit your face. So sad. Use three hooks next time. I'm gonna use ten hooks next ten time. Ten hooks, even better. Are we all over it? Yeah.
Are we all over it? Yeah, we got what we need. It. We got what we need. We threw them back. We I got them dinner. That's what I want. That's right. We got to play those suckers yeah. up. Let's head back to the ramp. If you guys would just reel up, don't um, yeah. reel up and just wrap the leads on the handles. I'm not going to put the rods away. I'm going to take them back, load it up. I'll, I can have a couple hours to dick around with the ramp. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to head in just on the account that uh, we're going to do a live feed tonight. And we don't really want to kill Casey's fish, but we would have killed that big one, huh? Yeah, we would have. <laughs> <laughs> we would have smashed his little brains in. So, yeah, we're going to head back to the dock and clean some fish. This right here is why we made Don throw back those toolies. Get a lot better quality meat, looking for the ones you want. All right, so now we're gonna cut this rogue fish. And even though it's got some bigger spawning stuff with this real big adipose, but the fact that it's missing that left ventral fin probably means it's gonna cut really, really nice. Ooh. That. Bam. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now for Mr. Biggs. All right, guys, fish are cleaned. It's boat scrubbing time. And uh, as always, thanks again for tuning in. Be sure, as always, to subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your friends. Share this link with your friends. If anybody you know likes to fish buoy 10, you know we had a, one of those days where we started a little late, got out there, got on the tide. Fortunately, we only needed a few fish and we got a few good quality fish, which is super important to go send home with the clients. Of course, as always, got them on the short bus flashers, but you know what? I can't imagine being anywhere this time of year else besides the lower Columbia. We've got a lot of good salmon coming in. 2019 is going to be a great year. We've got great runs of coho, and I think we've got a few more Chinook than we think are coming. So stay tuned for a lot more great content. Thanks for tuning in.